Street photography is intimidating. Not only is there this challenge of photographing people, but there are a few niches of photography where people are more fussy on the idea of what makes a street photo. So what is street photography? For many, it's a way of capturing the vibe of the street. It's catching it in the most raw form, undisturbed, unstaged, and pure. It's about creating an image that doesn't break from the reality of the street. Street photography is shot from the hip. It can be intrusive and it can be risky. But for me, street photography is without pretension. Street photography is about telling the story of the streets. It's about capturing singular images of an environment that can be dissected. It's about creating unintentional art in the urban environment. There are some great street photography destinations in the world. London, New York, Hong Kong. And on today's episode, I'm exploring one of them. I'm exploring the streets of Manila, Philippines. Step inside, sir. Thank you. So there's a bunch of neighborhoods I want to do street photography in here in Manila. Uh, one of them is Chinatown. Now, we're up in Hulo. Hulo's way up river from Chinatown, but luckily there's this ferry that actually goes basically straight down there in about 30 minutes. So we're cruising. photography can be intimidating and I know you might watch this channel and think that for me it's not intimidating anymore but it still is every time I get my camera out to photograph people it's intimidating every time I vlog in public like this it's intimidating but you kind of just got to get over it if you want great street photos I find it's kind of a little bit like writing you know that first sentence or two is always the hardest to get on paper but then once you do it all starts to flow I'm not sure if it's true, but I remember hearing once that Manila's Chinatown is the oldest in the world, but Nondo, as it's called locally, is chaotic, edgy, and a smashing of colors and contrasts. For tourists, it might not feel like the China they know in tourist brochures. It's certainly not touristy. But for photographers with an eye for the streets, it's paradise. It's a cacophony of clashing colors and compositions. It's full of life, busy bodies, and dancing light. Most Westerners might find themselves out of their comfort zone here. For street photographers though, we kind of revel in this discomfort. I think a big part of street photography is discomfort. And I think it's what scares a lot of people away from shooting street photography is they feel uncomfortable doing it. But I think you need to embrace that discomfort. I think that discomfort is what defines a really good photo. It shows the emotion, it shows the character, so if I can give you any tip for street photography, embrace that discomfort. I had an old political science professor who unintentionally told me a lot about photography. He said politics is like making a photo. You choose what to put in focus and you choose what to blur out. And there's no form of photography, aside from maybe photojournalism, where that's more true than street photography. As a photographer, you always have control of the story your images tell. You choose what to put in the frame and what to leave out. You choose what stays in focus and what gets blurred out. You get to decide if you want to show movement or stillness. And of course, you get to choose whether to push the shutter or not in the first place. And while focus, depth of field, and shutter speed are really important parts of it, nothing is quite as important as simply capturing a moment. Getting back to the idea of discomfort, somebody once said that in street photography, if you feel comfortable taking the picture, you're too far away from your subject. And honestly, today I feel like I wasn't close enough to my subject. I don't feel like I got uncomfortable enough. So the photos are okay, but they could have definitely been better. Uh, there's at least one more neighborhood here in uh, Manila I want to check out for some street photography. So let's skip ahead to tomorrow. It's now tomorrow, 
and it's hot here in Manila. But we're going out to shoot some more street photography. Today we're heading kind of near where Chinatown is, across the river, over to Intermudos. It's amazing how different a city can be just across a bridge. We're getting off at the same stop as we did yesterday at Chinatown, but crossing the bridge into Intramuros, which means within walls. This part of town tells the tales of more than three centuries of Spanish colonial rule here in the Philippines. And while the Spanish were forced out in 1898, the walls, architecture, and cathedrals are all still here. If you've spent time in places like El Nido, Boracay, or Bohol, this colonial version of the Philippines might feel unfamiliar to you. It almost feels more South American. For me, it feels familiar, like somewhere I've been before but can't put my finger on. I'm not sure how it'll be for street photography, but we wanted to check it out. Actually, a really cool part of town. Lots of tourists out because it's Saturday and uh, it is hot, but a really good vibe. Uh, let me talk about my camera settings and what I do when I'm walking around shooting street photography. Or actually, when I'm walking around, no matter what, I'm always shooting aperture priority mode because for me, the depth of field is the most important part of a photo. And it's the thing I want to be able to control really, really quickly. So, aperture priority mode. Then I shoot my ISO in auto, actually, but I set the minimum shutter speed to 1 250th. And maybe I'll do like a Teach them Tuesday video about how to do that. But basically the reason I do that is it just makes sure that my shutter never goes under 1 to 50th so I don't get a really slow shutter speed and I get that sharp image. But I also don't have like a crazy high ISO if it's unnecessary. And of course, I leave the camera on, I take the lens cap off, and it's basically just ready to go. There's nothing worse than missing a shot because you're fumbling to get your lens cap off or something like that. So everything's ready to go. I could go from seeing a photo to making a photo in like a split second. So Intramuros here is really cool, it's beautiful, yeah, it's a little bit touristy, but it is a really cool vibe, totally different than it was on the other side of town in Chinatown. It is, however, way harder to get street photos over here than it was on the Chinatown side. But we're still having fun, uh, kind of my method. When I'm out shooting street photography, I'm always looking for things to blur whether it's foreground bokeh, whether it's background bokeh, whether it's me slowing down the shutter speed and putting things a little bit in motion. I find that by adding blur some way, somehow into the image, it allows people to focus down on the image. It allows the viewer to see an image and know exactly what the story of that image is about right away. So I'm always looking for things to blur. It was another really good day here in Manila shooting street photography. We're just outside of 7-Eleven, waiting for a grab to take us home. But yeah, I got some photos. I don't think I got anything spectacular, but I definitely had some fun. 
One of the things that's usually really hard about street photography is dealing with people <laughs> because people don't usually like having cameras thrown in their faces. In the Philippines though, it might be the easiest country in the world to do street photography. You get really photogenic people and they love having their photo taken so it makes it a whole lot easier. One thing I didn't talk about really in this video was lenses. I shot all the photos today on the 35mm RF. Yesterday I shot some 50mm stuff as well. But in the future, I'm gonna do a whole video about what the best lens is for street photography. And I'm just gonna walk you through every single one of my lenses and what the advantages and disadvantages would be from a street photography perspective. So that's coming up on the channel at some point. So stay with me, stay subscribed, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.